Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So a quick little video for you guys. Samsung has just released a new update for the gallery application and this update brings a couple of new features. On smartphones, you get a new feature that allows you to scroll in full screen. So as you can see, as I scroll through the photos, the navigation bar and the status bar gets hidden automatically. So that kind of gives you a more immersive view while you are scrolling through your photos in the gallery and coming to the tablet they have completely redesigned the gallery's user interface so now on to the left we have a drawer which lets you navigate through your different folders inside the gallery and it also gives you access to videos favorite recent stories and there's the settings icon right over there so this is the new drawer ui of the gallery you'll notice it's very different compared to what we have on the phones so now you can see the difference more clearly from the tablets, they have removed the pictures, album, stories, and the menu icon, and they have moved it to this drawer at the edge of the screen. By the way, you can actually close this by tapping on that button. But I do prefer the landscape view on the tablet. One more thing to note is that this drawer UI is only available for tablets. If I switch the phone into landscape mode, you guys will see that this thing does not get the drawer UI. You only get full screen scrolling. Another feature that is new to this tablet is film strip scrolling. So if you open up a video, it will start playing back automatically. And if you tap over here, that will let you seek through the video by swiping over the film strip. So this is a new feature to the tablet. I think we already had this feature on the phone, but to this tablet, this is a new feature because it wasn't there before. Trust me, I have double checked this. So now let me show you how you can update the gallery application and get these new features on your tablet and on your phone. Okay, so I will be demonstrating how to update on the Galaxy S10 Plus, but the procedure is pretty much the same across every Samsung devices, including the tablets. Okay, so what you wanna do is open up the gallery, then press on these three lines and then go to settings. Scroll down to about gallery and you should automatically get a prompt over here. A new version is available. Then tap on update and this should automatically take you to the galaxy store where you can update the app so once the gallery app has been updated we can open this up but you will notice that we don't have full screen scrolling yet that's because we need to enable that from the settings so once again open up the gallery and tap on these three lines and then we will go into the gallery settings over here enable this option full screen scrolling and now, whenever you scroll through your photos and videos, you will get full screen scrolling. So that kind of gives you a more immersive view of the gallery because the pictures are scrolling in full screen. Man, that looks amazing, doesn't it? Now, in order to bring back the status bar and the navigation icons, just scroll down and you will see that the navigation bar will come back up. You don't see it on this phone because I'm using navigation gestures, but that's how you bring back the status bar and the navigation icons. Now, one feature that the tablet does not get compared to phones is full screen scrolling. So let me close this. And as I scroll, you guys can see that the status bar is still there. Now there is an option in a secret menu to enable this feature, but let me show you, it doesn't actually work. So what we will do is press on these three lines and we will go to settings, scroll all the way down and then tap on about gallery. Now on this screen, we will repeatedly tap version until gallery labs get enabled. So now a secret menu gallery labs has been unlocked. We will go back, scroll down and open up gallery labs. Over here, you will see an option full screen scrolling. Use full screen while scrolling through pictures. And we are going to enable this. Now we will restart the gallery, close the application. And now let's open up the gallery and scroll. But as you can see, that feature is not working because the gallery app isn't really going full screen. I can hide this and still it will not go into full screen mode. I've also tested this in portrait mode. I restarted the tablet. It does not work. So let's go back into the settings. Scroll down gallery labs. This feature gets auto disabled. So that's the thing. Full screen scrolling isn't really working on the tablet. Maybe it will in the future because that option is already there. And Gallery Labs is also where you can find video seek on film strip in viewer. So that kind of enables that video seek option in the film strip view, this one. 
So if you don't have this option, just enable it from the gallery labs and it should start working. However, I never enabled it from the gallery labs. It was enabled by default. Oh, and by the way, the Note 10 Plus is also getting this update. So let me open up the gallery. And as you can see, we now have full screen scrolling on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Awesome, right? Now, unfortunately, if you have an older Samsung Galaxy smartphone like the Galaxy Note 9, you're not gonna get this update. So I have already checked. This is the latest version of the gallery available for this phone. And this is the latest version of the gallery available for the S10 Plus, the tablet and the Note 20 Ultra. So yes, unfortunately, these new features are not available on these older phones. They are only available on the newer ones. Uh, this update is also not available on the Galaxy M series. Although I do think that the update will arrive sooner or later on these phones. Uh, this is still running one UI 3, not 3.1. Alright guys, that does it for this video. If you have enjoyed watching the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content because I have another video coming up, the One UI 3.1 review on the Galaxy Tab S5V. So stay tuned for that video. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.